Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I will show you how can we configure an NFS server, the network file sharing server in Ubuntu. So basically uh, NFS server is used to share files uh, from Linux to Unix platforms and uh, uh, it comes under the network attached storage type of storage. So let's, let us now see the configuration of NFS server in Ubuntu. So first of all you have to run this command, you have to update your uh, apt-get repositories, sudo apt-get update. Okay, after that you have to run this command sudo apt-get install nfs kernel server. So this is the package which you need to install at the server site, the nfs kernel server. So first of all you have to update your apt-get repositories then you have to run this command uh, install this package nfs kernel server. Okay, so this is the package and the command is sudo apt-get install nfs kernel server. Okay, now I will create directories to share. I will create two directories, public and a private directory. Public directory will have a read only permission and private directory will have read write permission. Okay. Now I will give chmod777 uh, 755 on public directory and 777 on private directory because we are giving read write permission on the private directory and we will not give we are giving read only permission on the public directory okay now you have to go to a file uh, sudo nano etc exports okay this is the file it will give the defin shared definitions okay so at the bottom of the line uh, file you have to give the directory name which you want to share uh, here i am sharing public directory and then you have to give the client ip okay so instead of client ip i am giving asterisk which means uh, it will be shared to the whole world means uh, anyone can access that directory so it i'll give read only permission and then sync for synchronized and then no subtree check okay similarly for private directory uh, here in the private directory i'll specify a uh, IP address of my client okay so here basically you have to specify the client IP address okay at the above I have given a strict which means the share will be accessible for uh, everyone on the network okay RW for read write permission sync for synchronized and no sub -t check And now just write and quit from this file and now run this command sudo systemctl oh uh, sorry sudo export fs hyphen arvf sudo export fs hyphen arvf so here you can see it is uh, exporting the both the directories uh, if at this point you uh, have an, any error then you have to uh, check your uh, exports file okay now i'll just restart the service i'll start the nfs service which is sudo systemctl start nfs kernel server so the service for nfs server is nfs hyphen kernel hyphen server okay after that i'll enable the service for the boot time and now let's check the status whether the service is working or not so here you can see it is working and it is enabled okay now we will move to the client side and we will mount our shares okay this is the client side and on the client side you have to install a package called uh, uh, nfs common so before that you have uh, the client side you have to update the apt-get repository sudo apt-get update And after that you have to install a package sudo apt-get install nfs common so at the client side you have to install this package nfs common so uh, 
Okay, now client side, you have to run this command show mount hyphen e and the uh, server IP address. So my server IP address is 172.53. Okay, so here I'll show you at the server side, my IP address is 172.25.153. Okay, so at the client side, you have to run this command show mount hyphen e and then the, your, the server IP address. So here you can see the export list from the server. Okay. Now uh, I'll show you how to mount it temporarily and permanently. Okay. So first of all, I'll show you how to mount, mount it temporarily. So you have to run this command sudo mount hyphen t nfs. The file system is nfs hyphen t is for type. The file system type is nfs. Then the server IP address. Or you can give the uh, uh, domain name also if you have configured a DNS server. So this uh, IP address, the server IP address, then uh, the directory name which we have uh, shared. And amount point, I am mounting it at MNT. Okay, before that what I will do is, I will create two directories for uh, mounting. So you have to run this command sudo mkdir mnt public and mnt private okay now i'll run that command to mount our directory sudo mount hyphen t the file system is nfs uh, the ip address of the server uh, 1.25 uh, sorry 53 the server ip address and the directory name and we'll mount it at mnt public so it has been mounted successfully and i'll mount private also if at this point you find any error, then there is, is some mistake in your network. Okay. Now uh, you have to run this command to check whether the files are mounted or not. You have to run this command mount. So here you can see at the end you can see uh, a public directory is mounted on MNT public and a pub, uh, sorry a private and and a private directory is mounted on MNT private. I think I have not given private over here. Sorry for that. Okay. So, uh, I think I have to U mount the directory. U mount will unmount your directory. U mount slash mnt and private. Okay. And after that, because here I have not given the uh, share uh, directory name, that's why I have to U mount it. Okay. Okay. Now I'll again run that command mount. So, here you can see the public directory is mounted at mnt public and the private directory is mounted on mnt private okay so this was the command to uh, mount temporarily okay now we'll uh, see how to mount it uh, permanently how to mount the shares permanently so for that you have to go to a file fs tab file which is in etc etc fs tab and here first of all you have to give the ip address of the server uh, the ip address is 172.25.1.53 and then directory name public and where we are mounting it on public uh, mnt public okay and then you have to specify the file system the file system is nfs and then you have to give defaults comma net def net def means network device and then zero zero okay and similarly for the private share on slash mnt private the bound point and then defaults defaults comma net def Okay, now just write and quit from this file and before that we will u mount our directories unmount it because uh, currently they are mounted mnt public and mnt private and now i'll run this command mount so here you can see nothing is mounted now i will mount it uh, using the fs tab file so you have to run this command mount hyphen a mount all so now i'll run this command mount 
so here you can see both the directories has been mounted successfully now these directories are mounted permanently uh, now after you reboot you will get this directories uh, mounted okay now i'll try go to this mnt public where our public uh, directory is shared and here we, as we know uh, we have uh, read only permission so i'll try to create a file so here you can see it is showing an error that uh, read only file system because at the server we have given this public directory uh, a read only permission that's why it is showing uh, it is not able as to create files okay but we have read or read permission okay now we'll go to private directory and here i will try to create a file so i am able to do so because i have given read write permission of the private directory so that's it guys we have completed with the nfs server and one more thing at the server side uh, if your ufw is active ufw means the firewall Uh, currently my ufw is uh, uh, is inactive if your ufd uh, is ufw is active your fire firewall is active then what you have to do is ufw allow nfs so you have to run this command okay if it is active my is inactive so i am not executing this command if your ufw is active then you have to run this command to activate it okay and after that you have to run the uh, giving it you have to uh, run sudo ufw reload okay so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing tutorials.